back to my channel so you're probably wondering why i'm holding this so today i'm going to be showing you how to use and dispose of your pad so this particular brand is always ultra thin i don't know if you can see it i like this particular brand because it's very thin long and when i use it i don't even remember that i'm using anything down there because it's so light so when you're menstruating, you probably want to use a very comfortable pad because you don't want to be removing and being uncomfortable all the time. So I use something that is full in the back. Something like this. And don't forget, always use cotton, cotton pads. So you want to cut your... This is what it looks like on the inside of the tip. So you don't want to open this any out because you're definitely going to use this wrap and stuff. So yeah, open it like this. So this part is sticky. This is the part that goes on your <clears throat> your pants on your underwear so if you noticed i don't know if you can see there's a shorter part and a longer and bigger part so the shorter part goes to the back and this part stays in the front so this is specimen a and specimen B. So this is the front. Replace this. If you notice, most pants always have this kind of like a demarcation here, here at the front and at the back. So I place this part where it bends, where your part, your part, um, pad rather where it bends. You place it on the first demarcation on top of your pants. Place it like this. Then you place the other side like this. So it covers it all the way to the back. And it's one of the reasons why I prefer this particular brand because it goes all the way to the front and all the way to the back. So it covers you and you don't have to worry about it to stay. Because I've never stained myself using something like my menstruation doesn't spill over when I use something like this. So at the front, you see this, you remove this. So naturally, I don't like to remove it for both sides at once. So I just open it on one side because if I open it for both sides, I'll end up ruining the gum on it. So just fold together because the gum is super strong. So I just open one side. Let's open this particular side. Then bring it to the back. Bring it to the back. Then fold it. Can you see? It's old. So imagine if we had removed the paper from this other side while folding and turning. You just mess up the gum. So you open it here. Yeah. And you place this. On the other side and voila ready to use so it's actually pretty recommended for me to apply the pad on your underwear before using it i know some people that just use their pants then apply this on it is that so uncomfortable and you can mess it up so with this method you are guaranteed that it is firm it won't move it won't shake because there are some pads and some people when they apply it it's either when you're working it will move right up to the front or right up to the back so like this it will cover you at the front then cover at the back too so that's that about how to apply or use your pad. So the next part of this video, I want to show you how to dispose of the used 
her. So since I definitely don't want to be traumatizing anybody, I won't be using real blood. So I'm going to be using this. So let's take um, this color. I think this color, this color, this color, this color. Let's see, you know. So I'm going to paint it until it's obvious. No, you're all wondering. Just use a lipstick, lipstick. I don't have. I don't really use um, makeup. No, as I have. I have numerous people tell me, hey, you don't look good with makeup, you look good with your natural face. I don't know. Can you see it yet? I don't know why it's not. Okay, yeah. Ooh. I'm going to try it. Mm. Yeah, I saw it last time, right? Because I'm not seeing it again. Should I mix it with water? Would that make it more obvious? Hmm. Am I only getting black? Let's try something else. Yeah. I did it. Okay. Now we have a used sanitary pad. So to dispose of it, don't just rip it off because remember it's stained and probably soaked with lot. A lot of blood, so you want to come to the back while it's still on you. You open it, yeah, and you open the other side. So after you're done using your pad, let me tell you, after using your pad for about five or six hours or depends on how maybe your flow is, your pad is soaked, I understand. So if you want to use a glove, go ahead and use it. But it is safer this way, trust me. It is safer and even it shows is makes you considerate of people in your environment. You don't you just don't want to wrap this up and throw it in the bin. No, no, please don't do that. So you open it up. It's easier to open from this side. Then you open it up like this. Let me see. This part so depending on your flow, it's probably soaked up so then this part too is definitely soaked too, you understand? So what you want to do to this side is you want to flush it down the toilet. I know some people will be wondering that, oh, it can clog your toilet, it can block your toilet. Let me tell you, this is just tissue paper, see? It won't, just tissue. It won't block your toilet. It will probably dissolve once you flush it. So one other trick I like to do is when I throw this in my water closet, I leave it, I let it soak up water. I don't have my sound yet, but I let it soak up water. Like that, it becomes softer and when I flush it down, it probably just cut into pieces. You flush it down. Then you take this part. The nylon part. If your flow isn't heavy, it's all, even if it is if it's not always as heavy as mine, like mine rather, then this place is probably not soaked. It's probably not stained. But in case it's stained, you rinse it off. I know, I know, some people might be going, ew, 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 but 
see here eh? in this time it's better to be safe than to be sorry so you rinse this off then you wrap it like this after rinsing thoroughly you can rinse it like five times if you want to and you are going to fill out the beginning time then you rinse it you wrap it like this you know i told you before that we're going to be needing the nylon the wrapper then after rinsing it like this you take this and you Have you ever seen people rolling like a spring roll or something? This is exactly how to fold the spring roll. Then you roll, roll. Make sure you tuck the edges in. Messing it up. The goal is to make sure you have this piece sticking up like this. Then you take it. You pin it. And the bin it goes so that's it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you learned a thing or two from this video if you like this video and want to see more of this type of videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up comment what you think in the comment section and please press that notification bell bye see you next time